Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well Sagittarius. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. You've got the soulmate card in here. This reading for today Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you. Let us see what is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. Sagittarius, this is for you, okay? What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? This is your channeled message, okay? We'll look into love, career, money, <clears throat> and general inspiration. What is the channeled message for the Sagittarius sign? I hope you're happy and healthy. I hope this video finds you well. What's your guided message? Okay. What is what is your channeled message? You've got the justice card. Let's see. We'll start with your overall energy checked in. And then let's see what is coming towards you. <clears throat> what can I get for the Sagittarius sign? Let me check the camera. I hope you are doing well. <clears throat> What can I get for your sign? You have an Eight of Cups. This is what's coming towards you. An Ace of Swords. Hierophant card. Predictive future and advice. You've got the Two of Swords. The Hierophant card. And you've got the Five of Pentacles. And so we start your reading. So... Um, you're starting the reading with a justice card. I feel like in terms of energy checked in, um, with a justice card, it feels like there was something fair enough, okay? You're thinking or dealing. Because this is your thinking feeling. You're thinking feeling high yourself, okay? So justice card, this could be an incoming situation, but I feel like you're very very satisfied with someone's performance like the justice card there was a justified result you were happy you were good you're feeling great about the situation or a person or a project you're feeling you're feeling like justice it has been served like you mm, logically like logically mentally there was or right now you're still processing it and it it feels like justice has been served yeah um it could be connected to a rule it could be connected to someone's response someone's explanation uh let's look at the justice card in here but it you know yes yeah, seven of cups the nine of swords <clears throat> the two of pentacles in here so I would say, Sagittarius, this is choices, okay? This justice card is connected to a person or a situation where choices, overthinking towards choices, so many options and choices. And it could be you were pick, you were not pick, you were, you get a, there's some sort of response or reply or news and it's it didn't entirely work in your favor but it did not entirely work against you okay it could be a situation happening right now but these are choices justice card something is gonna be served in such a fair enough Justice is served fair enough. Logically, mentally, you are, you, f you feel like it's fair, okay? And it's connected to choices. It's connected to options. It's connected to response time. I believe that whatever this one is, this is not exactly what you desire. Because this is like seven choices. Then it went to nine you overthink about why is this seven of cup like it led you to overthink but when you got the reply or you're about to get a reply it was justice is served 
it went down from seven to two. Okay, you could be you could be dealing with a situation or a person recently or maybe right now, but justice is served. The choice it narrowed down from seven to two. And then you might not entirely get this or it's not exactly what you expected, but it's not exactly bad. So there's more to come. All right, Sagittarius. And also you have an Ace of Pentacles in here. The Ace of Pentacles, you know, this sits in your intuition or feelings. So intuitively, because the justice is served, you're going to get the job, you're going to get the money, you're going to get something out of it. It's not exactly what you expected, but you're going to get something. And with a judgment card, the judgment card, this is your higher self. Your intuition, your feelings, your higher self is pointing you that you're going to get it. You're going to have some. It's coming. It's not exactly what you planned, expected, envisioned, but it feels good. It could be more, Sagittarius, okay? So something tells me the choice, that, that there's already like a choice. There's a, you know, it's, it's a vibe where you planted the seed that you, you were working with someone or you're working with a situation or project. I wouldn't say it didn't go well. I would say it morphed or reshaped into something. For some of you, it's much better. For some of you, entirely unexpected. But you would still intuitively, with your feeling, you'll still you will still get something out of it. And it's still an ace. It's like not bad. I mean, who would, you know, who would say no to an ace of pentacles? And your higher self's advice to you is that take it. Take the offer, Sagittarius. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. The star card. Take the offer. Take it. Take it, Sagittarius. Something is processing. Something is in process. Something is in process. Your intuition is correct. You're going to get the offer. You're going to get the response. You're going to get something out of it. It's not exactly what you wish for. It could be more. It's something unexpected, but... The star card is here. It's a divine. It's a it's a divine ace. It's still, it's a it's a re redirection offer, Sagittarius. Okay, there's a reason why you're getting this offer, not the other one for some of you guys, or you're getting the message now, not earlier, not too late. It's something halfway through. There's there's a compromise for some of you. Okay, so just hang on there. Your intuition is correct. Your feeling. Because your higher self is telling you, just wait. You know, higher self is about the judgment card sitting in the higher self. is like, you know, wait. Before you make a conclusion, before you make an announcement, because you be, be, before you make a grand exit or entrance or say something to the world, you just wait because your intuition is correct about an incoming offer. Okay? Now, what else is coming towards you? Now, this Ace of Swords, you know what? An Ace of Swords could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the history of the Ace of Swords is definitely from the past. Okay. This Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords is something like it's a, whenever I see the Ace of Swords, it's always recollect, reconnection, retry with a, with a, especially with the Five of Swords in here, hidden energy. Yeah. Someone is, about to send you a message and it looks like they want to solidify you they walk away from you or you walk away from them and this is something commitment okay oh it's a two of cups look at that i would say there's a person who is going to connect with you it could be a best friend it could be a lover but um there is some sort of discreet admission that they could be a friend could be a lover um, but I get the feeling of discreetly they're admitting that they made a mistake uh, they wrong you I think they're not entirely to admit that they wrong you they made a mistake and that they miss you but it's in process with the page of Pentacles and two of cups in here it's like this person is 
processing that, you know what, I actually miss you, but I'm not ready to admit it. But I need to process on how I'm going to admit that. Because my statement of saying I miss you or I'm wrong or it could also be as simple as hi, how things with you? Like they're processing it. They want you to get that them checking on you is like I miss you. Like we, it's a person who's like discreet. What I wanted to say is I miss you, but let me start with hi, how's things with you? You know, they could go direct, but with the two of swords in here, the eight of cups, they want to be discreet, but they have a solid offer. Okay. I wouldn't say this person is, I wouldn't say Sagittarius that this person, they have a hidden agenda. I don't think so. It's more of like, I'm going to say, it, you just wait. Okay. I'm going to say, I miss you. I love you. I want to see you. Whatever important thing or work to be done, like the, the culmination of you and them, if it's a project, maybe a person, friend, lover, but the culmination, the, the focal point, the center stage of thing that they need to tell, they're going to say, you just, just give them some time to warm up. They're processing it. Like there's something discreet about this person. Yeah, they're quite guarded, but they will be very, look at that. You know, like this person, this person is quite guarded, but they will get to the point. So externally, what's coming in, this is also something unexpected. A Sagittarius with the Two of Swords and Page of Pentacles in here. This is something unexpected. I would say this is a person or situation where completely blank. Like when you think of this person or situation or project, completely withdrawn, completely no idea. Like you couldn't even, you know, you could not even, you know, you couldn't sense it anymore. Like you couldn't, your intuition is quite far. Like if you think of this person or situation, you know that I couldn't read it. Something like that. You know, like you're, you're blindsided of what's the status. So this comes to the, this, this will come to you unexpected. It could be tomorrow, something very, very unexpected because you know, the two of swords, the five of pentacles in here. I get the feeling I don't care or I'm not interested or I get the feeling coming from you that how can I be, how can I be of interest? Like, um, it's giving me a vibe that I have no choice but to, you know, not be interested because I'm not getting the vibe, you know, with the two of swords and the five of pentacles in here. So you're not getting something from them. So how can you be interested, even though you're interested it's not moving. So you have no idea where the status is. That's why it's coming forward as unexpected. Although this person unexpected, they will connect, but they're very discreet. So I'm kind of picking up like you come unexpected and I cannot read you. They're just being discreet. Like this person is shy to say, I'm sorry. I love you. I miss you. I want to work with you. I take back. I, I, I want to take back what I said, but they'll get there. Okay. They will get there. Let's see. Yeah, death card. It could be, it could be a Scorpio. Um, you have a feeling that it's, you have a feeling that we didn't work out. Like, oof, it didn't work out for us. Well, the, that that's the last thought you have for them. You know, you could be like, I'm over you. But this person is like, I'm just about to reactivate it. Okay. It could be around the time of the Scorpio season that you would get some sort of a date. Or maybe the actual message because there's a page and the page is next to the two of cups. Um, there's definitely like walking away, spacing out in here, guarded. They're very discreet. I think they're scared of your rejection. They're scared of you ignoring them. So they're going to keep it discreet. They're going to keep their o offer a bit um, like low key, but it's big. <laughs> It's an ace of swords. Okay, girl, this is big. Um, yeah, fully invested. You know, it's a person who, if you reply and you're warm, you're welcoming, you're excited, they will jump right the way to an ace of swords. They're quite defensive. You know, they're quite defensive. But if they feel like, okay, you're game, you're welcome, you're excited for, you know, to hear to hear from them. Like if you're responding quickly to them, they will remove the wall and they will immediately say whatever words you want to hear from them if you're excited. But 
it's different from each one of you because you have a two of swords and a five so maybe there was a spacing out a falling out a ghosting or maybe i don't know maybe you felt betrayed because the five of pentacles is this abandonment so if you are if you have moved on from the past and if you are engaged interactive to them they will swoon and jump and say and you know remove themselves from being discreet okay this is the scenario i'm seeing in here yeah look at that and immediately fall in love immediately fall in love we fell in love in the first time that we met look at that that's that's their aim that's their aim is to make you fall in love with them or make you feel intensely interested with them like it will be good if you feel the intensity um yeah if they feel like you're warm you're welcoming if you're responding you will motivate them to be so direct with their crowning offer this is amazing offer sagittarius if it's money job whoever this person is and it's very committed like i don't want to make the same mistake and i have an offer but i'm hush hush about it because i might be rejected so i want to move discreetly but honestly i honestly love you yes because i miss you and also this could be like a friend who miss you a lover who miss you or you know it's a feeling of you get into business you get into a contract with this person you get into some sort of written contract agreement some sort of plan they did not push through or did they, they did not follow through they went around only to find out the the, the perfect match is you okay so what else and this is what i have for you guys thank you so much sagittarius for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me guys you know what to do click the bell click subscribe i will see you soon you have a great day bye sagittarius